In this demonstration, we will show you how to edit the mesh to make changes to the model, morph the mesh for quick changes to the model, and create new geometry from the changes to the mesh. The washer split will be used to add a circular surface and improve the mesh around the hole. The circular edge is selected to create the washer. A second washer is added to the circular edge of the first washer, creating a second new surface. The new surfaces will be remeshed to improve the mesh around the hole. The edge density will be set to 33 for all three edges using the LM density. The edges are then selected in the graphics area to set the density. The mesh button is clicked to see the new mesh. The new mesh is accepted by clicking the return button. A washer is also added to the smaller hole. The new washer surface and the surrounding surface will be remeshed to improve the mesh. The LM size is set to 5 to adjust the edge density. The Recalc All button is clicked to set the element size and edge densities. The Mesh button is clicked to view the updated mesh. The mesh will be improved further by setting the edge density to 14 for the inner edges. The Mesh button is clicked to view the improved mesh. The Return button is clicked to accept the new mesh. Points can also be removed using Quick Edit to adjust the mesh. The Add Remove Point functionality is activated to remove points from the model. The points are clicked with the right mouse button to remove them from the model. The model can be parameterized and changed without changing the geometry. Some of the tools can be found on the Utility tab. Fill Hole is a standard macro in HyperMesh that closes an existing hole with a 2D mesh. A node is selected on an existing hole on the model. The Proceed button is clicked to complete the selection. The Fill button is clicked to fill the hole. HyperMesh has automatically created the surface, filled in the hole, and performed a local remesh to fill the hole. In case the mesh is not satisfactory, the elements can be remeshed using the Auto Mesh panel. The elements are selected using the By Face option. The Mesh button is clicked to view the mesh. The new mesh is an improvement over the previous mesh. A hole can be added to the model using the Trim Hole function. A node is selected for the center of the hole. The Proceed button is clicked to complete the selection. The hole radius is set to 10 millimeters. The number of layers is set to 1 to add one layer to the hole. The layer size is set to 5 millimeters. The selection value is set to width for the layer. The Trim button is clicked to create the hole. The hole is created, but is a bit coarse. The Reject button is clicked to reject the hole. The Minimum Number of Nodes Around the Hole checkbox is clicked to make the density field active. The value for the density is set to 20. The Trim button is clicked to create the hole. The option to create a rigid element on the hole is also available. The hole is rejected to create one with a rigid element. The Create Rigid Spider along the hole checkbox is clicked. For this example, the Single Rigid Link option is used. The Trim button is clicked to create the hole with the rigid element. A rigid element is created with the hole that could be used to link a fastener to the mesh. The initial geometry can now be viewed to see that the model is now different than the geometry. Here, the original geometry is viewed, showing the original hole. The color of the component is changed for visualization purposes. Another important function is the ability to morph the model. 
Opening the Morphing menu displays the options. The Create option is selected to open the submenu. The Domains option is selected to create domains associated with the 2D elements. All the displayed elements are selected to create the domains. The Create button is clicked to create the domains. Zooming into the model shows the domains that can be used to edit the model. The yellow points are handles that are used as influence points to change the model. The morphing menu is open to see the options. Morph is selected to make changes to the model. Since the model is parameterized, dimensional changes can be made. In this example, the radius of the hole is changed. A value of 25 millimeters is entered for the radius. The Morph button is clicked to see the hole with the new radius. The hole is now changed to 25 millimeters. In this case, there is no remesh. The number of elements and nodes is kept the same. However, a remesh could take place with the Auto Mesh panel. The center node can also be moved using the Move Handles option. The handle is clicked on the model as a handle to move. The option is changed to Translate to enter a value for the move. The direction is changed to a long vector to select the direction of the move. A distance of 2 mm is entered. The Morph button is clicked to move the hole 2 mm along the vector. The button can be clicked multiple times to continue moving the handle. The hole is now moved 4 mm from the original position. The selected handle is cleared from the selection. The position of the rib will now be changed using multiple handles. The model is rotated for easier selection of the handles to move the rib. A window is used to select the multiple handles for the translation. The vector selections are also cleared to select a new vector for the rib. The model is rotated to select nodes on the side of the model to define the vector. The nodes are selected to set the vector for translation. With the vector set, the Morph button is clicked multiple times to move the rib 2 mm at a time. With the original geometry displayed, the move of the rib is visible. A remesh will be done on the elements using the Biface option for the selection. The Mesh button is clicked to see the new mesh. The new mesh appears and is accepted. In case the changes need to be communicated back to the design, the old surfaces can be deleted and new surfaces can be created from the mesh. The surfaces to delete are selected using the Displayed option. The Delete Entity button is clicked to delete the existing geometry.